So it's Monday, the 19th. Update. That last clip from the last video. Uh, they finally let me wash up. They didn't let me take a, like, a real shower, but they let me clean myself. My hair looks crazy because I don't have no hair products. EJ's supposed to be coming today. But we kind of thought I was going home today. We were just waiting for the echo to come back. Thought everything was going to be normal. It's not. Uh, they're saying that my heart is weak. Like, they don't know why. And they, I got to stay here. for They can run more tests. So, definitely not going home today. Um, my mom was on the phone with both doctors when they came in. And so now... She's coming later with my either my brother or my dad. EJ will be here later. Um, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> they brought my breakfast up early this morning because I didn't go to bed until like like five six o'clock, and then they came here and woke me right up at seven something, and they ordered me breakfast. But I had I was like sleep, so I didn't even see the breakfast come, and then they took me to actually get the heart ultrasound which is what an echo is um and so by the time I came back upstairs and because it had been sitting here all that time it was cold and they don't have a way to microwave it or anything so they had to send for me whole new food so that just got here which I'll show you the same old same old I actually came to like this breakfast so I got it again which is that egg white and turkey sausage thing Strawberries over there, apple, cherryos, and yogurt. And then I, they gave me strawberry jam. Jam solely because the, I ordered it last time because I just was like, I just want what I had yesterday. Do you have a way to like check the order so I don't have to like try to remember it? And they did. And then I just got apple juice and water. So yeah, I'm sitting here now. I just got off the phone with my mom and everybody. Uh, updating people on what's going on because I really thought I was going home today but mm -mm. and my mom's getting her wish because the truth is if I had got out of here today I had every intention on going to work tomorrow but that's out because I'm going to be here so I'm going to have to call my boss and let him know I can't come to work tomorrow Um, but yeah that's what's going on I'm just changed into a new um, I don't know what this thing's called gown because when I went downstairs the guy that was doing the ultrasound uh, couldn't get the knot out so he just cut it with scissors so I just walked around here butt out and I didn't want to be even though I'm in here by myself so I asked for a new one so I could tie it so now I'm more comfortable I'm about to I'm watching Family Guy and eating my breakfast and trying to figure out my life because Stuff always seems to happen to me at inopportune times. Like, I do not have time for this. I have work. I have to, like, work so that I can live. Even though, you know, EJ's there too. We both have to work to maintain our situation. So, I'm just, this is, this is, I'm not supposed to be stressing. That's what the doctor tell me. But it's, it's just stressing me out. This is very bad timing. And then my grandma, you know, was this time of year when she died six years ago. So it's just, I'm just in the glooms. But I'll see you guys in the next clip. It is 3.18 in the afternoon. Ooh. Mm -mm. And they just bringing me lunch because I had that late ass breakfast because of the fact that I was downstairs and sleep and they bought it early so now they got gave they got my lunch at three something which means I'm probably have to order my dinner right at five o'clock so it won't get here till six and it could just sit here so I'm hungry anyways I'm gonna show you what it is it's chicken tacos they don't give me any cheese, nothing. Lime, lemon. They gave me guacamole and salsa and some salad. No cheese. This is gonna be nasty. But hopefully it won't be disgusting. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. No, this doesn't look like real tacos. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, so I never came back on yesterday because stuff got hectic. As you can see, my hair looks crazy. Um, AJ should be coming back today to bring me some hair gel and stuff. It's about 7.30 in the morning. It is uh, the 20th of December. I'm still in the hospital. Uh, what, where did I leave off yesterday? I think I left off when they bring me my lunch or something like that. So I ended up um, ordering dinner. EJ came for a little while. He was here for about an hour. Then they took me to go get a CAT scan. And I was just really, really tired. So I went to bed. I actually did finally was able to use the bathroom, yay. Um, and they took off like all the precautions because people have been having to like put on protective gear to come in here, but they took all that off. So you could just come see me regular spangler without gloves and mask and all that. Uh, they've been giving me blood pressure medication to like keep my heart rate kind of low but anyway it's like 7 30 in the morning my breakfast just came they just switched out my nurse um i was asleep and the new one woke me up because my food is here and they don't want it to get cold like it did yesterday so I'm going to show you what I got. So this morning, because I'm getting really sick of hospital food in general, and because they barely won't let me have nothing, <sighs> I obviously go back to pancakes. These pancakes look bigger than the other ones that they gave me last time. But I have pancakes. They gave me one sausage. This pitiful looking egg. That is cream of wheat. Um, and then they gave me syrup and butter and this house seasoning stuff, which I'm not finna use because I already know it's nasty. Then I couldn't even get nothing to drink, so thank God I have apple juices left over from already. So I just asked the nurse for some ice. I'm waiting for her to bring the ice so I could put my apple juice and drink my apple juice. But yeah, um, EJ is supposed to be coming back today. I think my mom's supposed to be coming today. I'm just like ready to go home. I'm tired of being here. I was like to hurry up and figure out what's going on with me and what's wrong so I can go home. But I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'll see you in the next clip. Toodles. Okay, so it's 12.52. As you can see, I've got this do rag thing back on because I don't have hair products and I just found out I could go home even though I'm still here I just took a wash up put on these clothes because uh, that's what EJ bought me he bought me another shirt but it's a shirt that I like wear to work that I never wear outside so I'm just going to put my hoodie over this and then yeah going home i'm so excited i have to go home on well the, let me tell you the downer part i have to go home on aspirin and two different uh blood pressure medications they basically just my blood pressure is not high but the they are taking they're sending me home on that because it slows down the heart because what's going on what we found out is that my heart is not pumping the way it should be and i just took a wash up but all this tape like but it's so hard to scrub off so i'm gonna have to like take another shower later on today but yeah my heart is not pumping right they still don't know why they don't know if it was like agitated by the fact that i got sick like that and i was dehydrated because i wasn't eating and stuff but in any case the blood pressure medicine makes your heart be slower basically which makes it pump better the way they explained it to me so i have to go home on those two medications uh for now for like a month i have to follow up with the cardiologist lady in a, in a month but they gave me my medicine here so uh by the time i see her you know to figure out if i'm gonna have to stay on it 
or not hopefully not um yeah but i'm so excited because i'm so ready to go i got my last hospital meal of the day before i go out of here which is chips uh, ice cream my last little lemon lime soda and it was supposed to be a pulled pork quesadilla i don't know what this is they might they probably put it in a burrito but yeah that's what i'm having before i go home i'm so happy so like i got my iv out i'm all bruised up to high hell looking like a drug addict but we know i was here um but yeah i'm gonna eat this food and i'll see you in the next clip and hopefully that clip will be at home Toodles. so it is wednesday the 21st i am home i came home yesterday and i just went to sleep i was so tired from like not being rested at the hospital and I literally like slept because EJ went and got food I didn't even know he was gone <laughs> I can't I'll sleep um, it's about hmm what time is it 128 right now I just got out the shower I just took me a full shower with real soap got my body clean clean I fixed my hair with um this new edge control that I bought and just washed up to feel fresh um, I did take my medication today this is one of them two of them and there's the third one the third one I have to take I took that already um, basically I have to take two of the different pills one time a day in the morning and then there's one at night so that's getting started off I still have like some shortness of breath which that might not go away for a minute but I'm home uh, house is a disaster of course because EJ been here by himself but am I finna clean it right now no I'm, I'm actually gonna listen and get some rest this is what I mean by a whole last mess and him digging through drawers looking for shit that I hid from him, which he found. So, <laughs> but I'm not like, I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to be upset about it. It's whatever. Cause he, um, there was a couple of days that there was no money that I was in there. So, and I would, I would let him have it if I was here or at least shared, but like, yeah, that's what's going on. So I just took a shower. I feel at least my body feels cleaner. I am about to lay right back down. I just made the bed so that I could lay back down because it was a whole disshovelment. Um, yeah. In other news, that is the Christmas tree I bought. Little decoration be the day I went to the hospital and this candle, which I lit last night. I had him light last night. It smells so good. So good. And it like lights up my room at night, but I didn't want to burn it all night because I think I want to keep this candle for a while, even though I don't think you can burn this out quickly. I want to keep it for as long as possible. It's Woodland Berry. It smells so good. Um, I have bought EJ a couple of Christmas gifts when I was at Ross that day too, even though he was acting a whole ass that day. And I wasn't even sure the status of our relationship. I'm not even going to lie because he had been acting like an ass for a minute. But uh, I have bought him a gift, which was like a two for one. Because he has a piercing in his ear, which he keeps losing the earring for. So I have bought him these little studs. I guess he's got one in his ear now because I didn't see him before he left. So uh, he must got one in because I have... The pink ones i knew he wasn't gonna wear those so it was like a two for one gift i did get him something else but i will not be giving that to him until christmas um but yeah that's it for right now i'm about to lay back down and make some calls probably to my mom and some calls i need to make and i'll see you guys in the next clip